Hi guys, this is Strawberry Sing. Um, uh, for a while now, um, a lot of people have been asking me how I process my pictures and uh, what exactly I do and so forth. And it's kind of hard to explain everything because sometimes I'll I'll do very little to a picture and sometimes I'll just spend hours and all, hours on it. Um, just this one t that I posted earlier today, uh, a, f a couple of people, one person asked me to show them how they I did the bokeh background and a couple of people asked me um, how I sharpen the images and and what I, and how I add highlights and stuff like that. So I thought I'd quickly go through that. Um, I'm not going to go through every single step. I have it highlighted here so you can see every step that I've done and I'll kind of try and explain it. So this first layer here that you see, this is the actual raw shot. Um, this is what the picture looked like before I started processing. And the first thing I did was I kind of played with the um, the filters and I went into filter and sharpen and, and unsharp mask and I played with the sliders there and I al also went into hue saturation and played with the saturation a little bit. Um, after I did that I played with liquify and uh, as you can see I fixed her shoulder, I fixed her neck, uh, her nose, her eyes, her lips, um, played a little bit with that. Once I did that then I added some highlights and some shadows. Um, I think I've done the, a video tutorial about this before. I'll link to it. Um, it was, a, but um, I used adjustment layers to add all this stuff in. So um, if I'll, I'll link to that, so you can get an idea of how I how I did that. And then uh, one person asked me how I added all this bokeh, and it's really easy actually. Um, how I usually do it is I create a new layer above where I want to put it, right, and then I set that to screen over here and then I pick the bulk that I want to use oh god I have so many brushes one second okay and then I can adjust the size of it usually I try to pick, use the same color as the background and um, the opacity should be a hundred and then you can just click around and get all the dots in there if you don't have a bokeh brush, there's a lot of places, if you could just google it and download it, but if I find a good one or if I figure out where I downloaded mine years ago, then I'll link to it. Then you can just add the bokeh in everywhere. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Now you'll see that I'm getting some in my hair and stuff, and then you can just go back in easily once, because you did it on a separate layer, it's easy to, to get rid of. Like that. Okay. So this kind of gives you an idea, right? So there's my little bit of bokeh there. You can actually go back and add more. You can increase the size and put some bigger ones in if, if you like. I like to usually keep the same size. But anyway, so that's how I added my bokeh in. After I did that, then I played around with the color balance. So to play around with color balance, you go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. I added a little bit of magenta into this and a little bit of yellow and I just played with the sliders until I got got it to where I wanted it. So as you can see that made, made a huge difference in the color and I think it added a lot to the picture. Um, after that uh, I saved this and I actually brought it into pigmonkey.com. I actually use this site a lot because um, it's kind of it's kind of fun to add m more to it. Usually, what there's only a couple of things that I use a lot. Uh, the first I use Orton a lot. Um, now, as you can see, that's a very dramatic. So I I usually bring it down and I fade it. Um, usually like 85 or so. Sometimes I use this one. I use very very small amounts of each filter, and then I also like Tranquil. But I play around with them a lot. Um, sometimes I use different ones, but the best part about this is the bokeh here. It could, it's really extreme, and you can actually change the sizing here. You can make it bigger, and it's very bright. And then as you'll see that um, it's all over my face. So when you, if you click this button over here, it brings up a little box and you can I increase the paints, uh, the brush size and you can actually just delete it from your hair and your face. Sometimes I like to leave a little bit on myself because it it kind of gives it a little bit of a glittery fancy effect. And uh, that's it. It's really easy. You don't even need um, Photoshop. 
to, fo to process actually if you just want to add a little bit of color and, and glitter to your pictures. Polka isn't actually even used for the correct purpose these days, it's more to just add a little bit of flair. And that's it, and that's my picture, and then I hit save. Now sometimes once I hit, I save it in PicMonkey, I actually bring it back into Photoshop. So this is my Boca picture, and I feel like, oh, that's a little too much, maybe I went overboard, so I can actually just reduce the opacity. A lot of times I do that. And then, uh, and then I hit save, and, that, and that's how I ended up with my picture. So, as you can see, it's really important to keep everything on separate layers so you can go back and change it and reduce the opacity and, and change it up how, however you want. And at the end, I added my eyelashes in, and I was all set. So, I hope that helps you out a little bit. Um, I, if I go into a lot of detail, then it just, it'll take forever, and I'm kind of lazy about it. So, if you do have any more questions, feel free to email me. Have a nice weekend.